we we kind of covered this in the case study with uh, Mika and and Tai, but I'll I'll quickly go over it again uh, and try to fill in some missing details. Um, so something uh, kind of kind of subtle about this position again is going to be starting from a seatbelt. Generally speaking, people in jiu-jitsu are taught to fall to this side uh, because you, you want to supposedly make your opponent fall in, into, into the choking hand. Uh, that is okay, um, but there's another way to, to think about this, which is uh, because my elbow is connected to the ground, I actually don't have much runway here. I can do other types of chokes from this position. For instance, it would be easier to finish a, a conventional rear naked choke from this position, but it's hard to do. I don't have enough forearm torque to finish in this position, but that's okay. Uh, one approach to this problem would be to use this hand for the strangling leverage, which can easily be accomplished, more easily be accomplished, if you trap the top arm, and now this arm is free free to work. So Shivang's defense in this position, he knows what's coming. He does not want me to take over this inside space because then I'll have leverage. So immediately, Shivang is going to defend this inside space, making it harder for me to make a meaningful grip. I can grip, right? But I'm not inside I'm not inside this space. I want this grip, but he takes away the inside space, and I'm, I don't know, I, I, this isn't great. So for, for my countermeasures, I'm going to pull his face to open up this position, and on the rebound, try to capture this inside space. Alternatively, if he's defending, I'm going to chisel, 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 and now I have it. Okay, so now, even though we're kind of on the wrong side, that's okay. What I want to do is put my head on the other side of his head, wedging it into place, preferably with this type of straitjacket. And now I have plenty of range of motion on this side, so I can take my time, make this grip, and now when I bring my elbow to his shoulder. It's a very quick tap. Um, and a lot of times, because be, be careful with this because both hands are dominated. A lot of times your opponent might have to tap with their foot like that. But just be aware that because both hands are dominated, your opponent, especially if they're new, they might not know to tap. So be careful here. So I'm going to choke up, bring my elbow to my shoulder for the tap. 